there you guys, Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. I just finished a, a jazz DVD set. You can sign the link in the little information window um, to receive a special offer on that new DVD set. Uh, but I'm going to show you a cool little lesson right now for free and um, it's basically starting to develop, develop a little walking bass line. But you can use this in just about any style. Uh, but I'm kind of basing it on some of the concepts that I teach in those DVDs. So the first chord that I took was a B minor 7 chord. And um, I've got my middle finger on the 7th fret of the E string. And then my ring finger plays on the 7th fret of the D, G, and B. And that's the chord. The A string's muted. Get the high E in there if you just press, but that can be muted as well. It's not a big deal. So that's the first chord. Then the next chord, the middle finger just comes over onto the A string 7th fret, and we're going to play an E9 chord. And so it's 7, then index finger on 6, and then ring is over the 7 on the G, B, and E. Just like that. So we have B minor 7 to E9. Then we're going to do the exact same thing a whole step down. So A minor 7 to D9. And that's following what's called the circle of fourths. And, and you can actually go forever. Until you run out of room or then you work. So eventually you can resolve to a major 7 chord. Um, a lot of this is covered in the new DVDs, but we're using the circle of fourths and we're also using what are called 2-5-1s, which you see in jazz standards and, and even like Stevie Wonder songs, um, you know, pop music, rock music, just every genre is made up of this because it always sounds good. But so what we're going to do is we're going to do B minor 7 to E9, then A minor 7 to D9, and then we're going to go down one more whole step, same thing, G minor 7 to C9, and then finally when we ran out of room, we're going to play an F major 7 chord, kind of jazz style though, so it'd be index finger on the first fret of the E, and then middle finger on the first fret of the B, and then pinky on the second fret of the G and ring finger on the second fret of the D. So it's going to go like this. And then what we're going to do those we're going to do we're going to add this walking bass line. So I have this B minor 7 chord, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the bass note, then, then the chord, which basically is just the D, G, and B, but you know, if you, you know, just like that. Then middle finger's off, first finger goes to the fourth fret of the A, and I hit that, then middle finger without a chord. So it's So as I did that, you can see my index finger comes over and now I'm on the 9 chord and I strum it. Check it out right here. So real slow. So we do that. Then my middle finger is going to go to the 6th uh, fret of the E and I hit that by itself, then a half step down and, I do, and I'm going to do the same move now. Then, simply the same thing again. Then index, followed by the major 7 chord. So really slow again from this B minor 7 chord. And you can 
actually go <laughs> as far up as you can even um, like all the way to 12, 13, 14, 15 and, and just as an exercise practice. You know. So forth and so on. So this technique's a, a really great way to start, you know, making, you know, making yourself uh, a little fancy, if you like to be a little fancy. So, um, like I said, if you sign up on my list in the information window, um, you can receive videos that are on YouTube, special promos that are on YouTube. Um, I also have a new ebook that you can get for free by signing up on the list. And then also you're going to receive a special discount on my new jazz DVDs. So I think it's worth it. I'm trying to make it worth it. Um, and that's it. Guitarjams.com. We'll see you in the next lesson.